push, uh, it's already running now. When I push space, if it works, it should fly up in this direction and basically hit that pointer. Let's see if it works. There we go. Okay. And as you could see, the ball continued and it stuck itself in that corner. I'm going to stop that program. Uh, if I click the green flag to start it again, there we go. I've recovered the ball, put it back where it belongs. I'm just going to stop the program. It really doesn't hurt at all if you keep the program running. But we'll stop it. Now, what we need to do is, if the ball um, goes off the world, let's make it bounce. And there, there's an easy way to do that, and there's a not so easy way to do that. Uh, let's so let's try now. Well, the easy way to do it is simply if on edge bounce, and let's see what happens there. Space. Okay, so the physics are. Um, pretty nicely taken care of there. Now we could put some of this code on the paddle, but I'm going to put this code on the ball because it's the ball that's the, the behavior of the ball is going to change. So I'm going to put this interesting code on uh, on the balls tab rather than on the paddle because the paddle is just going to keep doing what it's doing. Okay, so um, If, okay, I've got sensing. If, and I'm under the ball, see, I'm looking at the ball. So if the ball is touching, and gosh, this is so easy, look at this. You just click if the ball is touching the paddle. Now, unfortunately, see where it says if on edge bounce? There's no, I cannot grab a block and just stick it in the stick it in there that says make the ball bounce. So we have to figure out what happens when the ball is bouncing. Um, so let's just let's just watch the behavior of the ball when it bounces, okay? Alright, when the ball is bouncing, it's moving in this direction, uh, you can see the ball is going, it says direction 135, whatever you see it there. When it bounces, it starts moving up in this direction, and you'll see the direction moves roughly 45. So it rotated 90 degrees in that direction, but that's not really all that helpful because um, here, let's change the angle of attack for this ball. Now it doesn't actually go at 45 degrees anymore. It's going according to that angle. Let's change this angle so it's like this. And you can see the bounce changes. So, um, through a little bit of trial and error, I was able to figure out that when the ball bounces, um, well, let's take a look at this. Here we have direction, it's minus 17. If this ball bounces on this wall, and it moves off again. You're going to want it to go that direction, which is the ball uh, plus 17. So when the ball hits either of these edges, you're going to want to change this direction to the negative, whatever it is. And that's not too hard to do. Um, doesn't help us with touching the paddle yet, but that's okay. This is, um, uh, let's try this. Let's create a new sprite, and in order to make this view represent the whole screen, I have to notch it down there. Now you can see these scroll bars disappeared. So I'm about to draw something that's going to, f I keep it, if I keep it at this magnification, it's going to fill up the whole screen. So I'm going to take the line tool, and I'm going to draw a line very farthermost edge over here, and do the same thing over here. Uh, furthermost, perfectly. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, so now we have some black lines over there. So um, 
we'll call this sides. So now we want to go back to the ball and we'll go to scripts and we'll say we'll change this if touching sides and what I want to do is I want to change the direction to and that will be under direction, point in direction, that. Now this is pretty cool. Under operators, I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to take, this block here represents the current direction. And to get the, the uh, negative of that direction, I'm going to do zero minus direction. So I point in the direction zero minus direction. And that should um, I'm going to replace this if on edge bounce. That should replicate what happens on the sides. Let's see if I'm doing this right. There we go. Not bad. Okay. We got the sides. That's great. Let's figure out on our own what happens when the ball bounces in the um, off the top. Because we need to replicate that for when the ball bounces off the paddle. When the ball bounces off the paddle, not only does it need to change its um, vertical motion, we also want to, uh, we want to continue that um, horizontal motion. So we need to figure out what happens when this ball bounces off the top. Let's make uh, the vertical bars here. It's probably strictly not necessary, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to change this scale so that now the scroll bars have disappeared, so we know that we're looking at the whole screen. Um, just for the sake of visual difference, let's make this bar blue. We'll get a line across the top, and a line across the bottom. Um, call this one top and bottom and if touching okay, if just slip it in there see how this forever block expands if touching top and bottom Under motion. Let's try. Um, let's try. Let's try turning it a hundred and eighty degrees and then point in the direction. Whoops, under there, turn 180 degrees. Whoops, yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, now I made a mistake there, I didn't want to do that, but I'll show you. You can pull these blocks apart by grabbing the bottom, and that kind of unplugs it. Okay, slip that in there. I'm going to point in the direction of. zero minus current direction. And that's it. So just make sure I'm moving this sprite so that the lines are visible. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Bounce, 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 bounce. Good. 